Hello everyone, welcome to Max Property Weekly. When people are buying in real estate, the first step is to get their finance ready. How much property they should search for, how much they can borrow from the bank, how much deposit they have to put down, and how much repayment for each month are the most common questions come into people's mind. Traditionally, banks used to be the people's only choice. People go to their regular bank and find out all these information. Now the time has changed. Finance broker become more and more popular in today's real estate transactions. They help clients to narrow down the best rate and best finance resource available for their client. Today, I'm pleased to have our first guest to Max Property Weekly, Autumn Wong from New Generation Finance Chatsu. Autumn has near 10 years broker experience helping hundreds of clients to achieve their finance goal and settle in Sydney. Let's welcome Autumn. Hi, let's welcome Autumn. Hi everyone. Thanks Max for having me here today. I'm Autumn. How long have you been in the finance industry and what is your background? Tell me about your company and what service you provide. Okay. Well, I have been working in the financial market for about 10 years. I used to be an investment banker and now I'm doing a mortgage brokerage. Uh, I've been doing the mortgage services for since 2016 and our company is called New Gen Finance. We're based in Chatswood. Besides the mortgage service, we also provide accounting and taxation consulting service. That's what we do. Oh, great. Okay, we have something in common that we all have the passion in what we're doing. Um, I'm passionate about helping people uh, to achieve their life goal by selling real estate. What's your passion by being a broker and what is your goal? Well, I think we probably have the same goal, mm -hmm. like you help people find their dream property and get them a lifetime goal and uh, uh, to enjoy their life by buying a like, very good and quality property. But for us, we are assisting people to achieve that goal by using the leverage, which is mortgage, to uh, let people be able to use their less saving to buy a much uh, more expensive property that they can uh, afford earlier in their uh, life stage to have them more uh, time to enjoy the rest of their life. That's, I think, is the thing to uh, make me uh, passionate in the mortgage brokerage industry. So we're all helping people. Yes, yes. that's right. Yeah. Otten, do you remember the, how many clients you actually helped until today? And do you have like a, your biggest highlight the moment that you close for your client? Well, I can't remember the exact figure how many clients I served, but uh, hundreds, I would say. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, every deal is an uh, excitement moment for us, because uh, uh, for people, they buying their dream house, then selling their new home, they'll be very exciting. Even uh, this is a very small deal, but uh, yeah, this is a very excitement moment for them. And one of the cases I can remember is that uh, uh, a lady who is going to retire, uh, she's very, very close to 60 years old. Uh, it's very hard for people at that age to uh, um, mm. get loans from yeah. the bank. Um, and actually, this is her first, first home. Mm. Um, people, the bank will question a lot of questions about how you're going to repay the loan if you're going to retire. What is the source of living and etc. And uh, they got the, uh, the kind of big four banks, yeah. and we uh, managed to help her to reorganize the documentation that we they can offer. Say that something in her savings, how much she have in her uh, superannuation account, uh, how much uh, she can find out and uh, organize from other income resources. Right. So you and all the resources. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we work out and ask thousands of questions, mm. um, kind of organizing all these documentations and find out uh, an unbanked lender who are willing to take this story, like uh, 
and actually take this plan, take her uh, retirement okay. plan, mm-hmm. and thinks this um, would be good, uh, would be willing to uh, lend her this amount of money and uh, successfully help her to starting her um, very first home in her lifetime, but in uh, very close to uh, retirement age. So this is a kind of um, case I would say um, this is f- let me feel like an achievement for yeah, me in the career. Feeling, yeah. Yes, it, it is a big challenge anyway. Oh yeah, yeah. Especially they've mm. uh, tried uh, like several channels already. Yeah, yeah. So that's really well done, Alton. We all know that the most important factor for the bank to consider is the income. Apart from the income, what other factors does the bank will consider for lending? The bank will also assess the statements of all your credit card accounts. Mm. Say uh, they're looking at uh, what do you spend, mm. the frequency of the spending, mm. because credit cards has a facility that you spend first and pay late mm. may like encourage you to yeah. spend more, right? Yeah. This is a problem, and the other problem is every ten thousand. Dollars credit card limit will reduce your borrowing power by eighty thousand. Wow, that is a lot, lot, right? Lot, yeah. To avoid credit card spending mm-hmm. or to close unnecessary credit cards if you don't need it, right. if you don't use it, yeah. to don't let the limit that you have to reduce your borrowing power. That's right. So it is quite important for for people like me, like other buyers, actually have should. Talk to a broker before they submit the bank loan application. Okay, in most scenario, the buyers are buying the home before the bank actually do the valuation. So how do we know uh, the bank can validate the price the buyers pay for? There will be some objective factors that uh, will determine the value of the property and will also be considered by the. Value. Mm. The most important thing is the comparable market, which means uh, the recently selling properties. I mean the in like a nearby area, uh, in some similar condition of the houses. Uh, what what they sold for? Say uh, how the neighbor sold one month ago. How the house opposite to the street. Been sold um, half a month ago. If they were selling at the same trend, say the price is going up, the valuer will probably accept the higher price, mm-hmm. the higher valuation. Mm-hmm. But if the market is presenting a very stable trend and they're not moving uh, dramatically, they will give a like very close to the uh, comparable market selling price. This is、uh, the most important thing they will consider about, but they will also consider about the other things because、uh, every property is identical. You can't you can't say that house was sold for three million and this one must be sold for three.、Mm-hmm. That's not.、Uh, you'll be looking at the condition of the house. You'll be consider the environment,、uh, let's say the trees, the traffic, the noise. Mm. This is quiet, or this is very noisy,、yeah. and also looking at the local economy, the local council, how the neighbor is.、Um, this is a thing that、uh, you'll be considered about.、Uh, if this is all perfect, this is all good.、Uh, I think the valuer will be happy to support a higher valuation result for you. And、uh, the other thing you may think about is. Where or who listed this property?、Uh, because before the customer, like us, the buyers, to、uh, pick to、uh, interview or、uh, inspect the property,、uh, most of agents they have done a lot of works、uh, to、um, filter all these factors for you.、Mm-hmm. So,、uh, at、uh, the auction, I mean the the agents. A price guide is also yeah, be considered kind of, factor. Yeah, kind of factor, yes.、Mm. But uh, sometimes uh, the valuation will be able to uh, exceed uh,、mm. the price guide. This is normal. So、really? normally there will be like a、um, 
a little higher than the price guide、uh, is possible. So, so I believe what you're saying is that if the market is a healthy real estate market, the transaction is transparent, and also the market trend is looking good in going. The market is going to a、um, increase increasing market.、Um, I believe that the the bank will most likely、uh, validate the the sell price of the transaction. That's what I mean. Autumn. What's your forecast for interest rate this year, and what do you suggest our client to do? Well, Max, it is very hard to predict the future, right? Yeah.、Uh, well, you remember, like a half a year ago, the interest rate is、uh, at the historical low level. Yes. And people is predicting it's、uh, going to、uh, drop going even、down. even lower、mm. uh, because we were facing a lot of、uh, uncertainty to the econ、yep. economy,、mm. right? And、um, But now we can see it's、uh, during the past six months, all the big four banks has raised their fixed rate、right. several times. Right. Several times. Yes. Even like a,、uh, I would say、uh, the aggregate uh, rise uh, could be more than point five percent. That is a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. So、uh, it is time maybe for you to rethink about your finance、uh, options. Yeah. Some of the Loans fixed, say, one year ago or two year ago, is approaching the、um, end of the fixed term.、Mm-hmm. So it is the time to rethink about the、uh, loan.、Uh, we're going to refix it, and how long we need to fix it? That really depends on your prediction of the、uh, future. And maybe it's a good time for you to、uh, talk to your broker to have a discuss.、Uh, Or other like customized finance options to、uh, meet the current market condition. That's right. During this uncertainty of the market, definitely everyone should talk to their broker,、um, reevaluate their finance situation. Maybe if they can improve their、uh, bank loan、uh, situation, that would be great. Thank you, Otem. Thank you for your time today, and thank you to thank share you. all your inside information for the people, for the buyers out. Out in the market, that who really need their finance、um, decision making.、Uh, if we, any of you want to make a contact with Alton or his company, we have provide Alton's contact details and WeChat account under the screen. Thank you very much, Alton. Thank, Thank you for your time.、Max. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for watching Max Property Weekly. I see you next week.